Okay, tonight with my dinner, I am creating or making some fresh fried potatoes and they're super easy. Check it out. I have my potatoes here. I'm gonna keep the skins on. It's gonna be super easy. And I'm gonna just slice them up. So I am going to get started with that right now. Oh, and of course, when you're cooking, my drink of choice tonight would be a white caramel mocha iced because it is a hot one today. Okay, so I have my potatoes all chopped up and ready to go. I did, you know, if you find any bad pieces like this and you just cut them off, you don't, you can use the rest of the potato. Um, so they are all sliced up and ready to put in the pan. Uh, I am going to put in my EVOO extra virgin olive oil. Haven't you always wanted to say that and be sounding like you're super cool, like uh, Rachel Ray or something like that? So, oops, I found some more potatoes with bad spots. I guess I've had these potatoes for a while. So, you're just going to put them in the pan, kind of spread them out a little bit. I put my oven like on medium heat. And they're all gonna get in the pan. Pretty easy. All right, so I have them all in the pan. And, um, oh, I, I'm using about five potatoes tonight for dinner. It's just myself, my husband, and uh, my, old, my youngest boy, who is now 17. Um, so, you know, you kind of eyeball it, and if you happen to have leftovers, then great. You can use it for breakfast tomorrow morning, um, or uh, take some leftovers for lunch. But I'm also going to add some Lowry's seasoning salt. Just going to sprinkle a good amount on there. And then I'm going to put a cover on it because that will help them cook a little bit faster. And um, I'll be stirring them every so often and we'll see how this turns out. Okay, so I had to put down my phone for a minute because I had to stir it. And I want you guys to check it out. Look at this, these couple that got so crispy. Those are my favorites. You know, this only takes 20, 25 minutes for these potatoes to get done and you just have to stir them every so often because you don't want to get them, you know, the bottom ones too crispy. But they are coming along. You could add onions to these. You can put pieces of bacon in them. You can add cheese to it. You know, you can switch it up and make it look, you know, make it your own. So I hope you have enjoyed my homemade fresh fried potatoes and um, maybe you can give it a try. Super easy.